Well, this morning, our latest six fix is of a woman in Colleen who moved into a solar powered home on a fixed income, thinking she'd save money. Not the solar panels. Now the solar panels haven't worked for over a year, and she's out close to $1,500. I had solar panels on the house, and they're just sitting there because the inverter's not on. A necessary part called an inverter that powers Claudia Ray's solar panels hasn't worked for almost a year. So all that power is going to nothing where my bills are just going sky high. And for months now, Travis Buckman, Claudia's son-in-law, says Claudia's bill that should have been close to zero dollars every month has surpassed $200 every single time. Now, when he'd reached out to Encore Solar that is supposed to replace it. Number that you can call in the back of their van, there's a number you can call on their website, but it immediately says, go ahead and text this other number and we'll get back to you. So I text it. About three months later, I finally got a response and it's been very responseless since then. When Travis reaches out, no response. And when I tried to reach out, still nothing. Katie Galan with the Better Business Bureau says they see complications with solar companies a lot. So it's important to do your research before buying a solar powered home. But if you do run into an issue like this, you can file a complaint with the Texas Department of License and Registration. You can also reach out to the Texas Attorney General and the BBB itself. We step in, we contact that business. Um, and then, you know, it's a very structured uh, process that we have. It has a certain time frame around it and, and the amount of times that we re re reach out to that business. And for now, Travis and Claudia need a solar company to step in for them or for the original company, Encore Solar, to replace the part they already have. We have the parts for somebody to come in, to come and switch it out if Encore Solar does not exist or hold up their part of the warranty bargain. It would give me a little bit more income instead of just worrying. Now I asked Travis and Claudia why they don't hire just another solar company to replace the piece. Well, they tell me it would be too much money. It would be seven to $800 to replace. So they are looking to not do that and just get her solar up and running again. Now remember, if you have a problem you need us to fix, no worries at all. You can text us 6 news at 254-777-6000 or email us at 6fix at kcentv.com.